Hi guys, welcome to Investing with JYK and today we'll talk a bit more about Regal International Airport Group. So when I last talked about this company, I mentioned that it had a bunch of issues. Uh, the most acute one being the liquidity issue. Um, they had a bunch of uh, debt coming due and not enough cash to cover for them. They also have some commitments, I think it was something like 7 billion um, yuan that's needed for the second runway or like some expansion of the airport, which now I forgot. But regardless, you can always check that video on your own. Um, Today I'm gonna mostly focus on uh, the like what's actually going to happen and whether I think this is still a reasonable buy. Okay, so it has a bunch of things uh, happening this in, for the last year, but overall there. Annual report hasn't been out, but most of the results are out. Um, and in, in conclusion for the past year is that they grew reasonably well, got some cash from operations, and nothing much. And um, so the main thing is really the um like profit there's nothing really to watch on the profit side i mean if you would look at this the profit has grown a lot um like by like 20 percent plus but that's not what really is driving this stock what's driving this stock is this if you look at the balance sheet you can see that the current asset has shrunk by a lot and especially if you look at cash this is not just drastic but extremely worrying right because you got a reduction like th this I, I don't know how to describe this this drop is humongous and we knew it was coming because they had to repay some debt last year. Now, 81 million uh, yuan is very little money for a company of this size if you compare it to the total asset size, which is um, 8 billion. So that's one hundredth of its asset is in, um, is in form of cash. And, and, and a usual company don't do this. Right? So they clearly have an issue with their cash. And then now let's look at the other side of the balance sheet. You can see, da -da -da -da, yes, close to 2 billion yuan of debt payable in a year. I mean, all these are payable, but the, the main increase came from um, long-term debt and that's something I really had an issue understanding it it just boggles my mind because if you look at uh, where is this it's completely stupid and, and, and where is that where is that I'm looking for the debentures the, the debts there was some they explained here we go so look at this thing on I mean in 2012 they had a they issued some debt uh, for seven years then in 2016 they issued more debt for three years I mean who the heck does this you who lines up all their maturities in the same year it's just crazy but in any case uh they have 800 million yuan that they were supposed to pay back uh 
about 15 days ago from now since they haven't gone bankrupt i assume they have paid so that's they probably had some other um, arrangement they probably borrowed uh, they borrowed to pay the old debt but like why would you do this to yourself it makes no sense whatsoever and then in another i don't know 20 days or so they have another 500,000 sorry 500 million yuan debt coming due and keep in mind that their cash on hand is 8 87 million by the year by year end and there's no way they can generate this much cash in a short period of time uh, because their their profit was something like 600 something million a year right so this, this is this is just stupid anyway so a couple of things was happening uh a couple of things was happening during this meantime that they had one uh, equity like deal cancelled that they were supposed to get paid back uh, from the parent company about 500 million yuan. Let, let me just find that something around. Oh yeah, cash flow. Yeah, you can see how their cash flow goes. They had to invest. They had to invest more last year than they could take in from operations. Right, so no cash generation at the moment. And uh, where was that? Uh, go down. Ugh. This is so stupid. Firmly deepen efficiency promotion. What the hell does that mean? Anyways, uh, we're not here to judge their English as just as you guys are not here to judge my English. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, where are we? Yeah, they had to pay a bunch of money uh, to. Uh, so that was cancelled, I think. Uh, I forgot where that was, but anyways, in in the end, the uh, the amount of shares that was supposed to be issued to the parent company is about two hundred million, and if they do issue that, and uh, at uh, the current price, they would get about uh, close to a billion, uh, a bit more than a billion, because the current price is um is 6.8 so it'd be like one point something billion uh hong kong dollars close about one billion yuan and that's if the issue at the current price but i don't think that's gonna happen because um uh, i think this thing which is owned by uh hainan airlines is again owned in turn owned by the Chinese government at some level and if you have if, if you have ownership by the Chinese government then if you sell yourself short essentially if you issue shares at below book value you go to jail yeah you go to jail there's a there's a law uh, in Chinese, it's called Guo Zichan Liu Shi Zui. Essentially, it's like, I don't know how to say it, like, loss of state asset crime. Something like that. You're not supposed to do that. So, the most likely it's going to sell it, uh, sell the thing to uh, the parent company at um, 1 PV. Even if they do sell at the current PB, we can then calculate the uh, the, the amount of dilution uh, we suffer as shareholders. So, 
200 million shares and total uh, number of shares is uh, 473 million. So you end up with uh, two, 200 divided by 473, about 42.3%. And that's addition. So the total, the new share count is 1.42 uh, times what is now. And assuming, uh, even if we discount uh, the amount of cash that's brought in completely, we would end up with something like uh, 0.62, which is the current price to book, uh, multiply by, by that. So it's like you end up with uh, 0.88 PB. And uh, in terms of uh, earnings per share, you would go down from 1.4 to uh, 1, essentially. Right, so uh, let's look at it uh, on this end, right? If you get it, and this is an underestimate, I'll explain why that is in a moment, but let's look at the worst case scenario. They get zero, um, like even accounting for the new equity as zero, you would uh, get about a six or seven, you would get a seven PE, you would get a 0 0.88 PB, still very cheap. Um, and oh, by the way, they skipped the this year's uh, dividend, which I think is correct. They should not be paying dividend when they're so close to bankruptcy. Um, but I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they will go bankrupt. Right? This um, this has some government uh, like backing behind it, and it'll be a big like the provincial head will probably lose all his political future if this thing goes under now the actually this thing once you sell it at 0 0.62 pb you will get some cash as well so the amount of cash that will be generated will be 200 million multiplied by 6.789 so 1.3 billion the 1.35 billion right so your uh, net asset uh, would be would increase by that amount your uh, current um, the current ne uh, net asset is this thing which is the market cap billion so let's just do in millions divide by 0 0.62 so that's a net asset plus this is the new net asset and then divided by uh, sorry it's a price to that right so it'll be like price sorry I'm um, let me get this straight price to book is the price to the net asset so that's a net asset multiplier, so you, so you have to do one, five, four, one. Sorry, that's what five, four, one. Divide by that. That can't be right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's right. And then we have to multiply by one point four two, which is the dilutive effect. So you end up still with something like zero point six. Something must be wrong. Anyways, I can't be bothered to figure out what's wrong, but the, the worst case is 0 0.88, and you're getting an airport at 0 0.88, you should be very happy. And then, um, on the other hand, the other thing that I was underestimating is the reduction in debt, in interest expense, the current interest expense. Uh, if you look at, well, something like 7%, I think. How much are they paying? Ah, oh, where is the thing? Current interest expense. In investment financial. Okay, here we go. 
that's quite a lot, uh, 138 million per year. And then if you pay all that back, actually for 1.3, you can't pay all that back. So let's say we just pay back one, 1 billion. Uh, you will end up, yeah. We don't know how much that is, but let's say we pay 1 billion. So that's half of that, half of the interest uh so you end up with um six sixty million dollars it's a million hong kong dollars sorry 60 million jimmy chinese yuan so that's something like 70 hong kong dollars 70 million and then you add that up so your uh, earnings will go from 620 to about 700 uh, million so uh, so you end up with uh, 700 million uh, divided by 620 uh, would be sorry one point so 13 percent increase in earnings and then you have a 42 percent increase in share count so let's do that you got 1.4 divided multiplied by 1.13 divided by 1.42 so 1.1 and uh, put that together, so 6.79, divided by that. So you end up with a 6 PE. Okay, so I think we've established that this is still cheap, even with the impending equity raise. Right? Even if they raise as much equity as they say they're going to raise 200 million shares, uh, at the price, at the current market price, which is somewhat unlikely, you end up with a PE of 6 from what is now 4.5. You end up with a PB of less than 0 0.9, so, uh, at least, I mean, at most 0 .0 0 0.88, actually. And at lower end, I think my calculation was wrong, but lower end seems to be lower than what it's now, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think that is uh, a good risk reward at the moment. And given the fact that we are already in April and this thing has not bankrupted itself, paying this debt, paying this 800 million was there 87 million in cash on uh, cash on hand right uh, the likelihood of them going bankrupt is almost non-existent so yeah i think this is a buy and i'm gonna buy some i haven't bought any yet but i'm gonna buy some see you guys next time and click like if you like it don't forget always tell me how you hate me